Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulet Rejection, Technology Gain Times 2 and 3. I'm not going to be talking about too much more on the um, wallpaper screens because, like I said, until I get the surface here on the 23rd, I'll be able to uh, show off more on that screen. But we are launching one, gave some updates on it, showed off uh, one of the older screens uh, from last year uh, that we no longer do business with the company due to the fact there were lines and print it into the screen. So today we're going to be talking about the Illuminous Ambient Light Rejection. This is our high grade professional silver. It is designed for ultra short throw, long throw, and short throw projectors. Now keep in mind this was custom designed for ultra short throw projectors and projectors of low lumens to be able to pick up um, a better picture because like I said our darker screens um, do well, do somewhat well with, uh, with low lumen projectors but this high silver is the best when it comes to that and especially when it comes to ultra short throw projectors. Now the screen, I'm going to walk in front of the projector really quick to show you that it's a very light silver screen but has the ability to bring out very beautiful color. Keep in mind the white levels on the ultra silvers are flawless. Black levels are very fair. So as I said with the um, high grain silver, uh, the white levels will be higher, contrast will be a little bit lower, and with the black screens, you have uh, higher uh, black levels and lower white levels. So just showing you the screen in a fully lit environment, plenty of light, connecting with the screen at all times, projector sits back, at around uh, 12 feet from the screen. And I'll do some of this with the lights on and lights off just to show you how magnificent the screen looks. So let's take our lights out. Just give you an idea on so many levels how this technology is absolutely incredible. Keep in mind, my projector is only uh, XGA. It is only doing this in 720p. There is no form of 4K application whatsoever uh, my projector is around 30 sorry 3700 lumens it's so around 3700 lumens xga about 12 feet back and i'm using an um, nec projector an older model projector i think it's the um np 1150 that's the projector right there and you just got to see this screen looks absolutely incredible like i said it actually brings back so much more to your um, your home theater setup and you don't have to be subjected to a dark environment. So I haven't done a lot of videos on this particular screen paint. I've done a lot of demonstrations on that black screen paint. I love black screen paint. I have a 146 inch in my living room upstairs, but also too, I love this silver. The silver is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, if you have an ultra short throw projector, this is the best screen paint to go with. Keep in mind, we first developed it. It was designed to be rolled on, sorry, sprayed on. Now it's designed to be rolled on. Uh, you can roll it or spray it, it's up to you. And usually when you have a screen that's this light, one of the things you're going to lose from it is you're going to lose color because the blue will start to fade. You get a tannish kind of look around the screen. With all this light hitting the screen, we don't have that problem. And like I said, you can use this on just any form of projector you can choose, just as long as it's not a knockoff projector. I had somebody just chime in about a half an hour ago. I got to, I got to actually... Uh, uh, give them some uh, answers. They're asking me what name brand projectors. Um, plenty of name brand projectors out there. You got NEC, you got Optima, um, you got JVC. It's a very expensive projector, but you got JVC, um, you got Epson, you know, you got so many different forms of projectors out there. BenQ, um, ViewSonic, you know, I mean, those projectors you can go with. But anything that's one of those knockoff projectors, literally, it sounds like an action ball fig, action ball fig, sorry, action ball figure. Uh, um, uh, um, name like something just sounds weird and off the bat and you have to look at the specifications you know the specifications say everything on the projector you know what I mean if you're getting something where it says a native resolution of I think it's 340 by or 380 by 420 uh, it, that's a huge huge red flag and it says it has the ability to do uh, um, uh, 1080p, that's virtually impossible. That's never going to happen. Not on this surf or any other earth. It's not ever, ever going to happen. Can't do it. Can't be done. And 7,000 lumens at $53. That's what I paid for my projector. It's going to be coming here pretty soon. Uh, it's going to be here on January the 3rd. Now, find us on January the 3rd. The projector will be here. I'm going to be doing it side by side. Keep in mind, I have a 4200 lumen projector and a 3700 lumen projector. So, I'll do it side by side, and you'll see the difference on how they lie on these specifications. 
Do not be fooled into buying these projectors. I know it sounds like a great, great deal because it's like $53 or $120. Some people I've been seen pay $200 for a projector. And it makes it like a fantastic deal because it has all the bells and whistles. But trust me, you're not getting what you think you're getting. All right, so and that's why I so you see a lot of these demonstrations uh, on those particular projectors. We do reviews on them with some of the projectors. It's always in a dark environment. Dark environment, white wall. Can't put it anyplace else. You just can't. You can't stick it in this kind of environment. It's going to wash out. No way in the world. All right, so I got to get out of here real quick. Just want to do this video demonstration really quick. Um, got a lot on my plate today, a lot on my plate tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration on this is the Illuminous Ambulite Rejections, our high grade professional silver uh, screen paint designed for ultra short throws. Designed for you can use it for long throws. Keep in mind it's designed for ultra short throw, short throw projectors, and for low lumen projectors. Like if you have an NEC uh, VT47 or just to name a few, an NEC VT400 and a projector that uh, maybe around. 1500 lumens or a thousand lumens or something like that this is a screen paint that's designed for it and as you can see you don't have to worry about the screen washing out because it looks fantastic take the lights out again I'm trying to do back and forth so everybody we'll take them out here there these are the ones in the back on so everybody can get an idea of exactly how beautiful the screen looks and we can do this with the lights on the lights off Get right up there on top of the screen. Keep in mind, my projector in no way is 4K. Not even I'm not even doing this in 1080p. It's done it's 720p on my projector right now. No 4K upscaling, none of that. And keep in mind, my projector sits back at around 12 feet from the screen. When you have a projector even at 4,200 lumens or a projector even with high caliber lumens, you don't want it sitting right up on top of the screen. All right, thank you all for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration and God bless. Yeah, that's my uh, Wi-Fi finally cutting off. We've been having Wi-Fi issues down here, so they're coming down tomorrow to fix it. We had a rainstorm down here in Philadelphia, and pretty much it just really rattled the signal down here. So um, I just have to have somebody come up and get it done for tomorrow. All right, again, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Wait, we're gonna step back for a minute because I want you to see where the projector is coming in at. So you see the projector sits all the way back there at around 12 feet back from the screen. So I just want to see that way back there. I don't like to do demonstrations where the um, projector is sitting too close to the screen because, like I said, it, it just takes away from the demonstration. Uh, by the way, for those you want to ask, this screen is about a 92 inch 16.9. Uh, all right, thank you all. Gotta go. 